Okay, so as we continue on with the Oriana Falasi interview, um, Falasi asks His Imperial Majesty some real specific questions, and it's obvious that the questions that he asks His Imperial Majesty are geared towards putting him in a position to declare and to reveal and to affirm his place upon the throne of King David and to reveal a uh, scriptural, biblical, and prophetic revelation taking place at that point of time. So, so Falasi asks His Imperial Majesty specific questions, I'm sure. Uh, Falasi being an author, we know that he, he was probably very, very, um, he was very conscious of, um, of the questions that he asked His Imperial Majesty. So let's, let's continue on. Your Majesty, have you ever regretted your kingly fate? Have you ever dreamed of living a life of an ordinary mortal? So here, this is another a bless, uh, another blessing through the Holy Spirit. Because remember, it's the Holy Spirit that convicts us in our hearts. And, 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 and especially when we find ourselves uh, when we find ourselves taking part in the will of God. When we take part in the will of God and we bring ourselves within that will, the Holy Spirit will convict us. And will lead us down specific paths. And, and, and I mention this because it's obvious that Falasi was led down the path of assisting his imperial majesty in allowing him to give uh, a proper testimony that would be so fruitful for us in um, our faith and fruitful in the manifestation of biblical and prophetic revelation upon the throne of King David. And this is what we reveal in His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie. So, let's continue on. Have you ever dreamed of living a life of an ordinary, ordinary mortal? That's, that's a, that, the, he, when he asks him this question, this reveals a lot. I couldn't ask you about living a life of an ordinary mortal because that would be natural to you. It would be like asking a fish, how do you feel about living in water? Well, a fish knows nothing other than living in water. So if you were to ask a fish, how do you feel about living in water? He knows nothing different. Just as ourself, being natural, natural man, we, we, we know nothing other than an ordinary mortal life. But here, Falasi questions his imperial majesty, asking him, have you ever dreamed of living the life of an ordinary mortal? So he shows that there is a... Uh, 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 a revelation of that which is in the heavens revealed on earth because he questions his imperial majesty about his 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 living the life of an ordinary mortal and this is a question that would probably leave some of us dumbfounded what type of question would this be but for his imperial majesty let's see how he answers it we don't understand that question even at the hardest and most painful moments we have never regretted or cursed our fate. Never. And why should we have? We were born of royal blood. So here his imperial majesty testifies of the seed of David, that royal race that stems from the seed of David. And, 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 and his blessed uh, opportunity to, to, to assist his great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, through the Holy Spirit, through revealing his 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 glory with the Father, in revealing the the glory of his great God and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, in revealing his glory with the Father through the Holy Spirit upon the throne of King David, um, this was his joy. So 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 there was no regrets in anything that 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 his Imperial Majesty Emperor Haile Selassie the first witnessed, for here he testifies knowing that he was born of royal blood. So, so yes, he was born of that royal stock, that seed of David. And he says, and why should we have? We were born of royal blood. Authority is ours by right. And so this is, this is, this is how we see his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, knowing that authority is his by right. This being God's public disclosure of the glory of the Father shared with the Son revealed through the Holy Spirit upon the throne of King David. And that authority placed within that man-child, placed within his imperial majesty, Emperor Ali Selassie I, Rastafari, who gave up that earthly and family name 
to, 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 to give glory unto his great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who, through the Holy Spirit, revealed the glory he has shared with his Father. And, and, and this, was, this was an authority that, that his imperial majesty received and knew it was his by right. And this is what he testifies of here. And since our Lord, the Creator, has deemed, so here he recognizes that his position, his place, at revealing uh, the glory was 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 a right given to him, and and that it was deemed and decided by the Lord our Creator. So the Creator, being the Word, being the Son, being Jesus Christ, deemed deemed that the core quality of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit would serve mankind as a father serves his young, and that's why he says this here. We have. We might serve our people as a father serves his young, as a father serves his son. So this was the divine empowerment revealed in and through his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, that the core quality of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be revealed in mortal man to mortal man, and that we could receive the affirmation of our faith and recognize the, 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 the author and the completer of our faith in his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, truly showing that we are, are, are absolutely children of his revelation, filled with his spirit of adoption. Okay, so, so let's continue on. We might serve our people as a father serves his son. So Jesus Christ served, served humanity as a son serves his father. For he, he, he sacrificed ourselves, sacrificed himself for us, being our blood and atonement, being our only sacrifice needed to prove us righteous in the eyes of the Almighty. And here in his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, he shows that through the Holy Spirit, the glory of the Heavenly Father shared with Jesus Christ is shown. That is why he says that it was uh, that he might serve our people as a father serves his son. So Jesus Christ did not serve as a father who serves his son. He served as a son who serves his father. Well, here through the core quality of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we find that his imperial majesty serves mankind as a father serves his son, revealing the true glory of the heavenly father shared with Jesus Christ, revealed through the Holy Spirit in Rastafari, upon the throne of King David. So we are so blessed in this empowerment we share it with all, and we pray that everybody can receive of this revelation, and that we may all continue on in the glory of the word and all its empowerment. Okay? Uh, we might serve our we might serve our people as a father serves his son. Being a monarch is a great joy to us. It is what we were born for and what we have lived for. So his imperial majesty testifies of his destiny, knowing his destiny, knowing what he was born for, and knowing what he has lived for. So he lived that we could recognize through the Holy Spirit the glory of the Father and the Son upon that throne that he was seated upon for biblical and prophetic revelation. He, he, he recognized this, this, this important responsibility because he knew that it brought him full joy and he knew that, that he was called, uh, called up as a man child, called up, upon, called up to the throne that the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit could be revealed unto mortal man. And that also, um, us being the, 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 the lost tribe of Israel, we could be called back into our heritage, receiving what we had lost sevenfold. So this was our divine empowerment revealed upon the throne of King David to, to bless us with a prosperity that would bring us deeper within our faith. And his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, reveals that this was his joy and that he reveals that this is what he was born for and this is what he lived for. So for him to be born and for him to live for that joy, there's nothing, there should be nothing that we should testify more of than this divine empowerment. This divine empowerment that, that, that gives one who has grace a full salvation. Remember, grace is, is salvation after judgment. But full salvation is salvation today, now, and forever. Giving you the core quality of your body, your soul, and your spirit.
okay? That you may be a pillar in the temple of the Lord your God and you will go out no more and you will have upon you his new name. And this was the joy of his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I, okay? More to come. We're going to jump into more of the, or, uh, the Oriana Falasi uh, interview next, okay? Glory to the Most High. Jah Rastafari. <laughs>